can take this Harbor Freight um, moving dolly and uh, turn it into an engine dolly for the bug. Now you can get these, uh, I was just gonna build one from scratch, but you can get these at Harbor Freight for eight bucks on sale. You can't even buy four casters for eight bucks. So pretty good deal to start with. First thing we're gonna need to do is uh, cut up a eight foot long two by six in a bunch of different sections. So uh, let's do that. All right, so get your two by six and uh, we need to make a bunch of cuts. We're gonna need three 21 inch cuts two 12 inch cuts and then a six inch cut uh, and I'm doing it in the backyard because uh, I'm already back here making a mess making a firewood holder so I'm all set up and ready to go gonna need a table saw for this. Cancel that. Move over here. So yeah, the uh, miter box wasn't quite long enough to get through. Dog is eating my logs. Because the logs are delicious. Good job, dog. Nice work. All right, back to work. Yeah, just leave that nine. All right, back in the garage. All right, and we don't need the carpet, so let's go ahead and uh, strip that off. Just a bunch of staples holding it down. All right, once all the carpet's cleaned off, we're gonna take one of our 12-foot pieces, actually both of them, and those are gonna get attached onto the ends. Uh, so I'm gonna clamp one in place, drill some pilot holes, and start screwing it on there. So this is supposed to be uh, eight by 12. It's not quite 12 about a half an inch short. So we'll just line these up in the middle-ish. Perfection really isn't needed here. Close enough for me. Just guess and hopefully I hit the uh, hit my mark. Beautiful. It's one side done. That's nice and stripped. Yeah, now the other side's done. Well, not quite done. Um, you're gonna want uh, at least four screws in each side uh, just for stability. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Go. All right, so that's four on that side. And for that side. Next, we're gonna take our 21 inch pieces. Uh, actually, one is gonna go on the back like that. Uh, there's gonna be two up here. These two you're gonna center. Um, so they're gonna. Uh, the engine's gonna be sitting on top of these. And so you want these centered so you'll have a little bit of overhang on each side, just eyeball is close enough. And we're gonna screw those in. So we'll pop this here. Just 
squeaky wood. All right, beautiful. All right, so now that's structurally sound. Now we're gonna add two top pieces. And again, like I said, we don't want these sitting back. We want this dead centered because we're gonna have the, the weight of the engine sitting on it. Uh, so we want it as balanced as possible. It's gonna look a little goofy, but uh, dead center's best. All right, so I got that uh, butt lined up where I want it. Like I said, it's not gonna sit over this back edge because we want it right over the, uh, the middle of the dolly itself. So you'll have uh, about a half an inch on this side. Uh, oh, I can't see. But half an inch on that side, half an inch on that side. Just a, little bit, a little more. Yeah, go up there. Clamp that down and screw it in. You can measure, but uh, I think that's kind of a waste of time. There we go. There we go. Pretty good. Uh, now what we're gonna do is cut out this section here. Uh, it's gonna give us a little, uh, a little less structural integrity, but it's gonna allow us to get a jack up underneath the highest point, which will make it more, uh, more stable when you're lowering the engine down. All right, let's see if we can uh, solve all this without royally messing it up. Ooh, my battery's about dead. Not sure if this is gonna work. sturdy still. So now we can slide the jacket up underneath it and I think we'll do one more piece just for a little extra leverage right up in there. So again we'll just get that centered, get a little extra height on the jack. Beautiful. That ought to do it. I might add a couple more screws just for structural integrity. One Volkswagen Bug engine dolly with jack. Pretty awesome. Or jackability. Now we're done. All right, so aftermath of using this a bunch, uh, one thing I did notice is that it was creaking on the sides a bit where I only had four screws. Uh, so I added a bunch more just for some structural integrity because that's literally where all the weight is sitting is on the screws on the side there. Uh, other than that, uh, just a little bit. I mean, it barely fit in. It might be a little bit wide, but um, it definitely worked. Uh, if I was gonna do it again, uh, I might add a couple support boards this way just to help cradle the engine in. 
because uh, you definitely had to keep a hand on it because it was, it was a little a little tipsy but uh, overall worked out for what I needed it for and uh, for 12 bucks for a total build cost can't go wrong and if you want to make one for a transmission uh, same thing except just uh, stack the two boards here vertically because it's got to be more narrow to fit up in between the uh, the support beams underneath the bug but uh, that worked out pretty well too oh and if you guys really like car stuff make sure to head over to my main channel which is velocity labs and uh, we're going to be doing a bunch more videos there as well